Hey guys, I'm Andrew Frederick and this is Ask a Developer. Our first question comes from Nate, and Nate asks, is it better for an aspiring developer to have a computer science degree or a great portfolio? Having a computer science degree shows that you're able to think critically, solve difficult problems, and you learn important skills such as algorithm development, data structure design, and you gain a more lower level knowledge of how technology actually works. Having a great portfolio, though, shows that you're capable of doing production level development. A lot of times recruiters look at this and think it's more important than how you've actually done in school. Personally, I would say do both. While you're getting your degree, find a part-time or full-time development job or an internship. If you're unable to find an internship or a job, participate in some open source projects or even start your own. When it comes down to it, job recruiters want to see that you're self-motivated and proactive. There's a lot that you can learn in school and it's very valuable, but you can learn a whole lot more on your own. Our next question comes from Carlos and he wants to know, What's the best way to build a community around an open source project? The advent of GitHub and other social coding platforms has brought open source to a whole new level, and there are some core fundamentals that you should stick to when trying to build an open source project. First, you should try to solve an important issue that you run into and that other developers do as well. If there's not a whole lot of need in the community for your project, then it probably won't thrive. Once you've actually solved your issue and created your project, you should provide thorough documentation and have a decent presentation. Explain how you solved your issue, and then try to sell people on the value of why they need to use your code. Once you've gained traction and you have some users, don't make them wait long on responses from you. If a user has a question, get back to them within 24 hours, even if it's just to let them know that you need a little more time to address their issue. If you have fellow contributors trying to submit code, review their changes quickly. You've taken on the responsibility of running this project, and you should be responsive to your users and contributors. And most importantly, stay active in the code base with updates and bug fixes. If you allow bugs to pile up, it's the quickest way to lose community members. That's all the time we have for Ask a Developer. If you have more questions, tweet them to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments.